relations of weight announced by M. Heidweiler in radium compounds cannot yet be looked upon as established facts. Elster and Geitel found that the radioactivity of uranium is not affected at the bottom of a mine shaft 850 meters deep. A layer of earth of this thickness would therefore not affect the hypothetical primary radiation which would be excited by the radioactivity of uranium. We have determined the radioactivity of uranium at midday and at midnight thinking that if the hypothetical primary radiation had its origin in the sun, it would be partly absorbed in traversing the earth. The experiment showed no difference in the two determinations. Conclusions I will define in conclusion the part I have personally taken in the researches upon radioactive bodies. I have investigated the radioactivity of uranium compounds. I have examined other bodies for the existence of radioactivity and found the property to be possessed by thorium compounds. I have made clear the atomic character of the radioactivity of the compounds of uranium and thorium. I have conducted a research upon radioactive substances other than uranium and thorium. To this end, I investigated a large number of substances by an accurate electrometric method, and I discovered that certain minerals possess activity which is not to be accounted for by their content of uranium and thorium. From this, I concluded that these minerals must contain a radioactive body different from uranium and thorium and more strongly radioactive than the latter metals. In conjunction with M. Curie and subsequently with M. Curie and Beaumont, I was able to extract from pitch blend two strongly radioactive bodies, polonium and radium. I have been continuously engaged upon the chemical examination and preparation of these substances. I effected the fractionations necessary to the concentration of radium, and I succeeded in isolating pure radium chloride. Concurrently with this work, I made several atomic weight determinations with a very small quantity of material and was finally able to determine the atomic weight of radium with a very fair degree of accuracy. The work has proved that radium is a new chemical element. Thus, the new method of investigating new chemical elements, established by M. Curie and myself, based upon radioactivity, is fully justified. I have investigated the law of absorption of polonium rays and of the absorbable rays of radium and have demonstrated that this law of absorption is peculiar and different from the known laws of other radiations. I have investigated the variation of activity of radium salts, the effect of solution and of heating and the renewal of activity with time after solution or after heating. In conjunction with M. Curie, I have examined different effects produced by the new radioactive substances – electric, photographic, fluorescent, luminous colorations, etc. In conjunction with M. Curie, I have established the fact that radium gives rise to rays charged with negative electricity. Our researches upon the new radioactive bodies have given rise to a scientific movement and have been the starting point of numerous researches in connection with new radioactive substances and with the investigation of the radiation of the known radioactive bodies. <laughs>